How's it going, friends? We are playing another donation bonus league. This one for one of our favorite viewers, Goober1501. And we're going to be taking all the turns. That's the plan, at least. So, um, for those unfamiliar with this deck, it's kind of a weird one. Um, basically, we play a lot of Howling Mine effects. So, Howling Mine, and then the card Dictate of Crufix. So, we're drawing extra cards, and then we eventually try to parlay that into playing a Time Warp slash Part the Water Veil slash Temporal Mastery every single turn until we have all the turns and then we kill our opponent, which is pretty cool. Um, we also have Exhaustion and Giga Drowse, so we can try and use those as pseudo Time Walks to get us to a point where we are casting our actual Time Walks. Um... Then we have cards like Remand, also a pseudo time walk. And then Cryptic Command, which can be a pseudo time walk or just obviously a very good card. And then um, this deck also uses Jace the Mind Sculptor to pretty good advantage, honestly. Um, probably the best Howling Mind possible is Jace. You just get to brainstorm every turn, obviously. It's better than us drawing and them drawing. And has synergy with Temporal Mastery to put it back on top for the. Uh, excuse me. Put it back on top for the Miracle effect, too. So, this deck is extremely predicated on getting one of these multi-card drawing effects in, in, in play to hit the point where it just starts snowballing and casting uh, time warps every turn. Now, yes, one of the interesting things this deck is not playing is Snapcaster Mage. There are no Snapcasters in this deck, and Snapcaster is obviously a very good card, but it also ends up being... A card you can play somewhat early to get, you know, a Remand or a, a Serum Visions. And then later you can use it to, to flash back your Time Warps and stuff of that, stuff of that nature. So, I'm a little surprised not to see any um, Snapcasters in here. Um, we're playing one Search for Ascanta, which seems a little slow in my opinion. It can definitely serve that purpose of just, like, trying to find a Time Warp every turn. That's a lot of mana. Um, I think I would probably prefer the fourth Howling Mine. I've never actually played this deck. Whenever I've played against this deck, the the very clear thing was that if you could stop their Howling Mine effects and keep them to only drawing one card a turn, that was the way to beat them. Um, they could cast all the Time Warps in the world, but unless they were drawing extra cards, they would eventually run out and then lose. So they might chain together two or three, but th this deck needs to take all of the turns, not a, a few turns in a row. So... I think I would prefer the Howling Mine over the Search for Ascanta. Uh, again, I wouldn't mind a Snapcaster or two in this deck. I feel like Jace might have taken that spot. Um, our win condition is could be Jace, uh, but it's mostly part the Water Veil. So once we keep taking every turn, we put, make a lot of land drops, and eventually we awaken a land and then attack with it a few times. Um, older lists of this deck used to play Ink Moth Nexus, which allowed for a faster kill where you would part the Water Veil on the Ink Moth Nexus, then you could activate it, and it would be a 1-1 one, one Infect Flying Creature with 6 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it. So it was a 7-7 seven, seven Flyer, basically, and it would kill in two turns, uh, which would help you not fizzle. So that's also a fairly common thing I've seen in these decks. Um, uh, Land Base has Makokoro, Center of the Sea, another Holly Mine effect. Uh, it's got Manamo and Oboro, uh, both these cards don't really do anything in the deck except for um, Manamo can untap Makokoro, I guess, but they're non-island blue lands. If your opponent has Choke, honestly, if your opponent has Choke, you're probably not winning anyway, but a little value there. They are vulnerable to, um, like, Tectonic Edge, maybe Blood Moon. Shouldn't be a problem, obviously, but... Um, and then we have uh, a, a few fetch lands for our Jace, which I like, so we can Brainstorm and Shuffle. Uh, we're playing two storage lands, which I actually like a lot, because uh, storage lands are great. If you're playing a deck that's a little slower and in, in, in control matchups, storage lands do a good job of uh, making use of your mana each turn. And we're also playing two Hollowed Fountains. This I like less. Um, the only thing Hollowed Fountain is doing for us is hard casting our sideboarded Leyline of Sanctity. Um... That's a little ten, a little, uh, a little tenuous. Whereas we only have two hollow fountains and four fetch lands, it seems 
somewhat unlikely we'll actually even be able to do it. And then, even if we do, is it even that good? Like, I'm not not excited about that. Whereas, I might play against Burn, and my opening hand is going to be Hollowed Fountain, Califacorum Pools, and a Boro. And I'm going to have to play my Hollowed Fountain on tap and take two. So, that's a little weird to me. Um, if we wanted to, t to take the White Splash a little further, we could play like, like, like Acid Membrane says, play Terminus. I don't really love that. But... We could have cards like Rest in Peace, Stony Silence in our sideboard and really try and utilize the color white for what it's actually worth, which is great sideboard cards. Um, so I think that uh, that's a way to do things. Um, I also think that um, Timely Reinforcements is a good uh, possible sideboard card. Also kind of a weird time walk. But yeah, so those are my thoughts. Uh, I like a fourth Halley Mine, a few Ink Moth Nexus. I don't love the Hollowed Fountains. Uh, I would definitely like 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 a, a Snapcaster or two. Not big on search. Um, otherwise, I'm mostly happy. Makokoro makes Lantern draw cards. That's cute. Um, I mean, also this Howling Mine and Dictate and stuff too. But newbie question: What's the storage land mechanic aimed to accomplish? So basically, a lot of times in, in control matchups or slower matchups, where you're playing against a very reactive deck. You end up spending a few turns and just not or multiple turns not doing anything because you're scared of their counter spells, you don't want to tap out. So the storage land, you just do nothing, and the end of the turn, storage. End of a turn, storage, end of a turn, storage. And it gives you a point where you have like four or five mana from one land, and you can have a really big turn where you cast the spell you want to spell with counter spell backup. If I want to do any changes beforehand, go ahead. Um Hmm. Okay. Are you sure? This is your list. Talk to me. If you want to do that, we can do that. Um, I'll, have to get the, I'll have to grab the cards, though, so that'll be a short little break. But uh, we got a new sub, Connor25, ninth sub of the stream. Connor, what's up, my friend? What's your name? Where are you from? How long have you been playing Magic? Favorite card of all time? Favorite deck of all time? Most important, what's your name? Where are you from? And what do you want to name Nicole's puppy? For those that don't know, Nicole and John, my my fiance and stepson, really want a puppy. I don't really want to get one, but I told them if we got 1,000 subs, I would do it. So, okay. So we're gonna make some changes. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, all right. It's gonna take me a minute or two to get this uh, together. So I'm gonna add Howling Mine. Cut the search. I would like two Snapcaster Mages. Oh, we have those. Cool. Um, I think we cut... I don't think we need all these Giga Drowses either. Some of those on the board. I think I would... If we're going to play Hollow Fountain for white cards, I'm cool with that. But I think I want to... Uh, let's see. Add a... I don't need Misty's. Hey Flash, wanna hear a joke? Add a Misty. Yeah, like maybe two Misties. And cut two islands. I would like to ink moth. Again, these are untested changes. This is somewhat theoretical. I cut a pools and cut I don't know if we really need a Boro or Manamo. Manamo specifically. Yeah, I think we're going to cut the Manamo. Okay, and then the sideboard. Uh, I don't want Aetherwise. I don't want Wipe Away. Hello, Sub! Gimp! Dispel. I don't want Spell Pierce. Um, Recall is probably worse than Stony Silence. Hibernation is interesting. Let's do like stony. Rest in peace. Yeah, choke is not super common. If they have choke, they have choke. It's fine, they beat us. I don't love these Leona Sanctities. 
but I guess they're fine. I also don't love hibernation. I kind of get it, but yeah, I like these dispels a lot. I mean, you always get good drowses. Kind of get good drows. Let's cut. Hercules recall. Affinity is probably a hard matchup either way. Uh, let's do. Let's do one hibernation, I guess. All right, I would like to try this. So I'm going to need uh, a second to get, the, to get these cards from my Card Hoarder account. Check out CardHoarder.com for all of your Magic Online card needs. And while I'm doing this, Burnsy is going to entertain you all. Burnsy! Check out the amazing Burnsy as he chews cards and stuff. Nykthos? I think that's a little bit too slow. Um, <laughs> Devon Dragon, yeah, 100, 101 Dalmatians. Alright. Um, Burnsy will be right back. Right back. Taking turns. Just one second, my friends. Oh, wait, oops. You can still hear me. Here I am. I hear you. All right, so the card order cards will be coming shortly, delivered by the fine, fine folks at Card Hoarder. Once again, thanks to, thanks to them for their um, supporting the stream and being part of the Card Hoarder network, which I am. Um, Divinity? I don't, I don't play too many other games, you know? Uh, I don't use Mana Traders. I have a Card Hoarder account. Uh, I, have, I have a partnership with them. If you haven't followed the stream, make sure that follow button. Um... And yeah, I think we're I think we're in good shape here. This is a definitely somewhat theoretical from what I've played against this deck and just theory crafted in in kind of general. But I think this is a little better than the, the original submitted list. We have a little better ways to win. Uh, we have better sideboard cards, and we have uh, Snapcasters as well. A little lighter on Giga Drows. I don't think we really, really need this card that much. <clears throat> Excuse me. Also, a few more fetches for our, our Jaces, and a few more ways to get white. Right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We only have eight white sources. We could do a little better than that, I guess. One more Misty. All right. So those card hoarder cards will be here shortly. Baral. Um, Baral's kind of interesting. The problem is that once you add a creature to your deck, now you have the problem of creature removal, obviously, that would normally, normally be dead against you. Um, yeah, Giga Drowse is definitely good against control. There's no point in playing Flooded Strand because we don't, we don't have a planes in our deck. So any blue fetch line will do. I don't think playing a planes is worth it. One snap and one Baral. That seems a little, uh... I mean, Snapcaster is very good. Again, Baral is only good if our opponents aren't going to kill it. So, Burnsy has had a few rares. Cool. All right, ready to roll. Sorry for the brief delay.
But here we are. Let's go. Has Burnsy ever eaten a mythic? Uh, no. Ah, uh, yes. Aetherworks Marble. Once again, you can go to my Twitter, and you can uh, if you follow me on Twitter, which you should, you should do anyway. You get to see fun things like Burnsy's Burnsy's best cleaned out Burnsy's cage, and these are his best his best ones: Marvel, Rogue Refiner, Needle Spires, and Tassiger. So there you go. Good job, Burnsy. Everyone loves you. All right, let's try and take some turns. Chalice of the Void in the board? That sounds pretty good, actually. But this is where we're at. We'll just try it. So let's see if we can take all the turns. I like taking turns. Burnsy likes taking turns. Go, Burnsy! The As For Told Visions package? I don't, I don't agree. Um, that's pretty finicky, and... Again, every time I've ever played against this deck, the most important element was Howling Mine and Dictated Crew Fix. If they were able to stick that and have it in play for a few turns, I couldn't win. Bad matchups? I would assume fast decks. <laughs> um, can our mana base support taking out Visions to bring in Chalice? I don't know. I'm not sure. That would require some more thought. I want to take some turns. I want to take some turns. Who wants to take some turns? Cool. This hand seems perfect. Keep. It's definitely a wacky deck. There's no doubt. Uh... This is actually really good for us. As a Tron player, I have lost two taking turns before. And unless they have the nuts, this is pretty good for us. Cryptic Dictate. Uh, I want to draw lands. I'm going to bottom... I'm going to bottom both of these. Brutality sounds nice, actually. That seems like a pretty good card. Splashing black instead of white. All right, so thank God they have a, a non-tron land drop, so there that means their hand isn't even that good. So now we have time to deploy our Howling Mines and hopefully get fully set up here. We have Remand. We can Giga Drowse as a time walk, like just hit one or two of their Tron lands. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Ballista on one. Okay, so that's like not that big of a deal. The Stirrings found an Expedition map. So they may not have Tron next turn, but we are going to Giga Drowse them. What's up, Tez? No land. That's not good. We can't afford to cast Serum Visions because we're going to Giga Drowse tap them. We're playing a second Howling Mine, so we should really draw land in our next turn. Like... And we're going to upkeep tap Urza's Tower, just in case they have Tron, um, because they can't do anything with 5 mana, so this buys us a lot of time. No, just cast the card, no replicate, just do it. Do it! See? I suppose if they have a Oblivion Stone, we're actually in pretty big trouble. They don't. Cool. Or do they? Nope, they're going to pump the thing up. Sure. So, 
We need basically one more turn, and we need to draw some time warps. Or Miracle? Exhaustion? Oh my god, we didn't draw land. That's so sick. So, we... Not drawing a land is absolutely brutal. Because Exhaustion is a time warp. It's exactly what we wanted. And we hit the time warp itself. So we just make a land drop. Ex exhaustion. Untap. Time warp. And then we're good. But that didn't happen. So now if they have a um, Ulamog or a Worldbreaker, we kind of are in trouble. We cast Serum Visions. I guess if we hit we're in great shape. If we miss, we remand. But we could just exhaustion. So we're like, yeah, we're like probably a little less than a flip to hit. If we hit, the game probably just ends. If we miss, our backup is remand, and we can set up for next turn. Ooh, boy. Or we can exhaustion and almost assuredly make a land drop next turn, but they get to untap. Yeah, I think we're gonna Visions. Exhaustion, exhaustion is safer this turn, but worse next turn, because we really don't, if we, Exhaustion, they are definitely going to untap unless we draw exactly another Exhaustion. Yeah, we're gonna Visions. Ah, oh, crap. I thought we miracled because it popped up in like a weird spot. Okay. This is awkward. It works, I guess. No, it doesn't work. It does work. Okay. So we need to cast Remand on their turn. So we can't, we have to put the part the Water Veil on top. And then we get Temporal Mastery next turn. So this is super awkward, but we're going to make it work. Missing land drops here is, is, is absurd. Just throwing that out there. All right, we're going to discard this Temporal Mastery. And just hope they don't have Ulamog. If they have Ulamog, we lose. Even Worldbreaker is bad for us, but having Mastery on top is pretty sweet, so... And they have Ulamog. God damn it. <laughs> that's pretty frustrating um we had that game 10 ways till sunday if we just found a land in our top like eight cards all right we're gonna bring in sony silence we are going to bring in that's it we're going to cut the i'm gonna cut the hmm If we exhaustioned, we also wouldn't have drawn a land, and therefore would have been in the exact same spot, but worse. So, yeah, Visions was right. I mean, again, that that if we exhaustion, we still miss a land drop and still give them a turn either way. So Visions gives us a chance to have that not happen. It didn't work out. It was still the right play. Um, on the play, I don't think we need Giga Drows. Remand is super awkward because, like, it doesn't stop their cast trigger cards, but it's obviously very good otherwise. But, could just cut Cryptic. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe we still want this as, like, a, a weird time walk. Maybe we cut, like,. Cryptic part the water veil. Nah. They're gonna have more ways to deal with our howling mine effects, which kinda stinks. Hmm. I think we want Jace. I guess we don't want these. I'm not sure. All right, let's try that again. Let's just uh, 
Let's make sure we draw some lands here. This is pretty bad. I think we... Yeah, we got a mulligan this. We don't have a Howling Mine either. Yeah, this is an easy mulligan. I don't know what I'm thinking about. Oh, cool. All right. Fantastic. All right. This is fine. All right. I mean, this just sort of does stuff. Stunning Silence on the play is quite good. We can do stuff. It's not amazing stuff, but we can do stuff. I mean, Stony is pretty amazing, honestly. Yeah, they have a map, sweet. They are likely to have answers to Stony Silence because of, of how our deck is constructed, obviously. So disenchants are obviously real good, but what are we gonna do? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, sure. How about that map? Them apples. I'll cast that. Explore. Yeah. Need a need a Howling Mine effect. It's not worth the exhaustion there. Alright. Alright, we're, we're doing stuff. We have turned off most of their cards. We need to draw something. Sure. Need to draw something. Yeah, Holly Mine's super important. This is exciting. This is exciting. They play artifacts they can't use. We play nothing. This is great. Jace. Temporal Mastery. Sure. Literally doesn't do anything. Redraw. Polluted Delta. So here, like, I don't even want to cast Time Warp because it doesn't do anything. Um, it's the same thing as that Mastery was. We're just going to... It's just cycling. Draw a new card, basically. It's a free cycle. So I'm just going to wait and say go. Ink Moth Nexus. Um, I still have no interest in casting Time Warp. No, you definitely do not always take the extra turn. Is it? All right. This is what everyone under misunderstands about this deck. The card Time Warp is terrible. Like, so look, we're gonna untap and draw a card here, right? So, imagine we time warp here imagine we only have five lands uh, basically what that is is it's free cycle it draw a new card because we're not doing anything what makes this deck good is when you have a howling mine in play every time you time warp you draw two instead of one you have to make a land drop so without extra land drops to make or extra cards to draw it doesn't do anything um we can, now this turn we can time warp Nexus ding them for one. Then we could like Snapcaster time warp. We're still not really doing anything though. Um, right, time warp is a pro, but it doesn't let you see your hand, their hand basically. So, I still don't see a reason to cast time walk yet, time warp. I think we're just going to ding them for one with Nexus and say go. 
Because again, if we time warp and ding for one, then we untap and then what? We ding them for one again and then just say go. We get snap time warp, but then what? We just put a two two. We just put a two one in play. We're not doing anything. So opponents that could have warping whale. I mean, yeah, dictate would be great. Holly mine is great. Like if we draw Holly mine next turn, then I snap the time warp because now we've spent our mana, put a Holly mine in play. Draw an extra card, and now the ball can get rolling. The ball has to be rolling, or time warps don't do anything. I don't think Snapcaster, like, it's too extra damage. Basically, yeah, like, so basically, time warp is. Time warp does everything you already have in play. So if there's a Snapcaster in play, it's worth two extra damage. If there's an Ink Moth in play, it's worth one poison. Playing five mana to redo my turn with plus two damage, it turns it into a shock, and that's not good. We're not going to beat them by. Anemically beaten down at Snapcaster Mage. We need to set up and and set up and use that as a, a time warp later. Howling Mine. Yes, we are also under no pressure. They could draw Tron at any moment and kill us, but uh, there's no point in wasting our cards. This deck is a good lesson in, like, basic fundamental magic theory. Like, kind of similar to um, the, how, like, Storm decks that use Empty the Warrens, when they make X goblins, that's, like, basic, just basic, like, you know, the board is this, can you beat it, what do you need to do to beat it, etc., etc., theory. Alright, um, we are going to cast Serum Visions, which is a good draw. I maybe should have fetched first. Makokoro... Remand cheese. Makokoro actually is is fine. So we're gonna bottom Misty, bottom Remand. I should have probably fetched first, which is a mistake on my part. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna lose a little bit of value here from our bad cards being shuffled back in. That was a mistake. I should have just fetched first. Um and then we get to snap visions. And probably end step Makokoro. We're again just trying to find a Howly Mine effect. Also, Makokoro sort of works, but it also gives them cards too. And if they go if they draw Tron, they kill us. So we need to be a little careful of it before we can start going off. We're kind of getting there. But do they have surgical extraction? Is that what they are thinking about right now? That would be interesting. Yeah, very clunky, very expensive Howling Mine, but it kind of does the trick. Leave up Exhaustion. It's a sorcery. All right, there's Dictated Crucifix, finally. So let's bottom that, top this. Um, now I'm a little unhappy that I kind of wait. I didn't waste Snapcaster Mage, it was worth it, but it's fine. Now we're going to Makokoro, we're not going to attack, and we're going to say go. So just don't Tron us or don't Greenland us for one turn. Give us this turn. All right, sweet. And now I think we're at the point where we're set up. Finally. So they discard Sylvan Scrying. Temporal Mastery. All right, so that's just gas. Um, That's like the actual idealness. So we're going to play this. Play a land. We're going to dictate. And I think we just draw an extra card. So we're going to dictate. Attack. And a Kokoro. Yeah, now I would say we've hit the point where it actually matters. 
And we can see how having this time warp in our hand is much, much better than having wasted it nine turns ago. Let's draw an extra card. Upkeep dictate? Why would we upkeep it? Why don't we just do it on, why don't we just cast it? We had mana to use, right? Oh, it was in my hand from the Makokoro. Oh yeah, you're right, I'm, you guys are right, I'm sorry. Yep, you guys are right. Um, all right. So now we've drawn another dictate. We're gonna time warp. Take an extra turn. Thanks for subbing, we got a new sub. Oh, who is it though? Fields. New sub, what's up my friend? Everyone show some love to our new sub in chat. New sub, what's your name? Where you from? How long you been playing Magic? Favorite card of all time, favorite deck of all time. Most important, what's your name? Where you from? So we do need to find another time warp effect. I guess we could Makokoro and then Upkeep Dictate. That's actually better. Yes, that is better. Okay. So let's poke for one poison. Aboro is a fancy island. You can bounce it against like Liliana or something. Sub hype. All right, so that. This must be really fun for them. They can't use any of their cards. They can't take any turns. They get to draw a lot of cards. What do they draw here? Surgical Extraction on Time Warp. I told you about Surgical Extraction. That's kind of a tilt, but... Well, we have so much mana, I think it's actually fine. So this is worth an extra card. Sure, so that's that. Untap. Upkeep. We cast. Dictate. How did you get here? We entered a contest, yeah! Draw two extra cards. Howling Mine. Temporal Mastery. Serum Visions. All right, so. Not the best time warp, but it works. Three, four, five, six, seven, and Serum Visions. I like that we're going for the um, the double kill of damage and poison. That makes me happy. All right, Dylan from Houston, Texas, playing for six years. Favorite card is Spell Queller. Favorite deck is any tempo deck. Dylan, thank you so much for subbing. You're the tenth sub of the stream. That's awesome. Thank you. Cool. So that game worked out well. Good thing we had Sony Silence. So now on the draw, I kind of want to get Diego Drowse. I kind of think Cryptic Command is terrible. Um, in water. Like, I don't think it, like, Cryptic Command does anything in this matchup. And it's just really clunky and expensive. I think I still want Jace, because Jace is a possible Howling Mine, basically. But... I think I actually want the Giga Drowses on the draw just to buy a turn or two. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, I agree. We definitely could have fizzled there because um, we had lost some of our time warps, but we were in pretty good shape, so. All right, we're going to try this. Like, Cryptic Tap Draw doesn't do anything. I guess Bouncing Lands isn't bad, but... Not really ideal. Rest in peace against extraction? No. If they extract us, they extract us. Whatever. Like, we have other time walks, you know? Give me. Gimp, what's up, my friend? Nick from Philly. How's it going? Thanks for subbing. 
Uh, only been playing since Amon Cat. Awesome. Favorite card is Panned Harmonicon. Favorite deck is anything slow and grindy. Playing Bant lands a lot lately. Awesome. Well, thanks, Nick. I appreciate that. Oh, cool. Can't cast anything. There is there is no giveaway. I don't I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Mulligan. I love to keep, but this hand is also awful. Uh. Okay, Mulligan. Mulligan. All right. I guess we keep. Bottom. Oh, the BCW giveaway? Yeah, it's on Twitter. Go to the uh, Twitter page. Check it out. Not really a fun way to go here, I'm not going to lie, but... Probably going to turn three Karnas, but that's life, I suppose. Adam? No problem, my friend. Howling Mine? Ugh. I think we're in really big trouble. Just gonna toss, soft toss that one out there. Surgical Extraction, Serum Visions. Uh, we bottom both cards too. We bottom both cards and they still Surgical. They didn't even take the Serum Visions. Now they're main phasing. All right, so they, they just literally have turn three car, car and don't care at all. They are laughing at us. Just just laughing at us. They wanted to mulligan too, basically. <laughs> Whatever. Mulligan to four, turn four Karn. What you, turn three Karn, what are you gonna do? Alright, so anyway. <laughs> Uh, we kill Karn? How do we kill Karn? We can play the Snapcaster, and then it goes to one, and then we have no lands, and they still have a full hand of stuff. All right, whatever. We lost our first match to Tron. It's actually a pretty good matchup. I've played the Tron side before. It's pretty tough. Um, if you're tuning in, welcome to the stream. We're playing a donation bonus league. This is Goober 1501's Taking Turns deck. Uh, we played a... Um, what do we play today? We played Lingering Jund for Corey Millhouse. Went 4-1. and one, Lost to Bogles in the last round. We played Kid Soldier's uh, Podless Pod deck. Went 2-3. Had a lot to talk about as far as like tuning a deck up a little bit. And now we're playing uh, Goober's Turns deck. We are down the first match, so we are 0-1. But kind of a lame game there if you missed it. So we'll see. Let's we'll keep battling. Deck seems sweet when it's doing its thing. So let's make sure we do our thing. Keep. Hibernation is good against Bogles. That is very cool. I look forward to that being a thing. I imagine we have a pretty good Bogles matchup. That's cool. Oh, this is great. We have Howling Mine into Dictate, into Time Warp, Time Warp. Uh, we'll top these. The music stopped? There's been no music the entire stream, Emily. <laughs> Not one bit of music, except for um, during the breaks. Are you guys hearing music? Because I don't hear any music. When we do our YouTube videos, we can't play music because of copyright reasons, so. All right, so we have Double Time Warp, Part the Water Veil, Dictate. We got our lands. I think we're in good shape here. Unless they're playing Infect, which would suck, but. Oh, uh, new subscriber? 
I haven't seen a new subscriber in the last nine minutes. All right. What if Foothills don't breeding pool Glisten or Alphos or whatever, uh, the Blighted Agent? Mountain? It's not Ponza because they're playing Noble Hierarch. Eternal Witness Wooded Foothills? This is our kind of matchup. This is our kind of matchup. All right. All right, opponent, you've got a turn, basically. I'm a leak. I would actually need written permission from all three members of the band, one of which is currently deployed to Iraq. And I don't even know how, like, the legalese paperwork works as far as, like, putting that in somehow. It's much more complicated than it sounds. I kind of don't want to deal with it. And I don't want to just play my band nonstop for seven hours while I'm streaming. I think it's a little much blood moon oh blood moon wow what are we ever gonna do with a blood moon in play how about draw a lot of cards that's what i want to do lots of cards drawing lots of cards oh look another island That's a little annoying. Exhaustion is the actual best possible card. Our opponent will never see another turn. I almost targeted myself though, which would have been really, really funny. But I'm late tired. Yeah, that was the, the literal best card in the deck. Nothing better. And now we get to work. Okay, well then have a nap. Then fire the time warps. Yeah, but Adam, how do I tell YouTube about that, you know? That's the that's the problem. As far as, like, like I have I applied for mon monetization on YouTube, like, two months ago. And they still haven't gotten through with it yet. You know, like, how do you get in touch with them and make them do these things? All right. Uh, time warp. Is it time warps? Right, we dump uh, dump cryptic here, I guess. We're we're never gonna have another turn. It doesn't matter what we do. So uh, let's see, snap time warp here, I guess. Put a creature in play. Yada yada yada. We actually might give them a turn if we draw Exhaustion, because then we can play Jace also, but... Rats. Rats, Burnsy, rats. Alright, so... Serum Visions, Howling Mind, perfect. Let's cast Serum Visions. Oh look, Temporal Mastery. Let's go. Exhaustion works too, so it's op, top. Let's play uh, Howling Mind. Let's play a Time Warp. Our opponent's a Glutton for Punishment. On tap, mastery the thingy masteries. Yes, I would like to do that. Uh, draw some cards, blah, blah, blah. Turning on our opponent's removal like a dum dum. Play Jace the Mind Sculptor. Where are we at now? We got 
We already have a time walk in the bank. Play Jace the Mind Sculptor. Uh, play another Dictator Crufix. Don't even use Jace the Mind Sculptor. Um, I guess we just start plussing. Yeah, or right, whatever. Doesn't actually matter what we do because we can't ever lose. Aside from like decking, I guess. Good theoretically deck. Are we at part the water veil range yet? What does it cost? Nine? Is it untap the land? No. Eight, nine? I guess crap. I wish untapping lands was easier. Come on. Wake, wake me up before you go, go. Target us, leave Emperor Mastery on top. Attack for six. Discard uh, Serum Visions and a Howling Mine and a Giga Drows on tap. Blah, blah, blah. Punch wants to waste our clock. This is fun. Awaken Ink Moth and Cryptic Bounce. Sure, I can do whatever I want. It doesn't actually matter what I do. We can do lots of things, all right? Our goal is to win quickly, if possible, which I believe we can do right in, all right, whatever. I should I we had part the water, but I could have doubled up on the land. It doesn't matter. Whatever. We win. All right, so they're playing some silly Blood Moon deck. Um, they're playing Witness, so... I don't think they're playing straight Ponza. Probably just some sort of like Todd Stevens esque like red green mid range Blood Moon deck. Um, I guess we'll bring in Hibernation. Uh, hmm. Most annoying part of playing this deck in paper is quad sleeving your foil expeditions. I honestly don't like Cryptic Command that much in this deck. Is that weird? Am I weird? Is that weird? I don't know where like Giga Drows does buy a turn. Yeah, I take Cryptic Command out. Whatever. Pretty uh Pretty uh, dominating performance there in that game, not gonna lie. Okay, sounds good. As long as we have a Howling Mine, I'm pretty happy. Opponent, opponent Mulligans, Serum Vengeance is also great, so. I mean, like, t like it's like a fog. Like, I, I, I fog. we wanna tap their lands. I'd almost rather play Eye of Nowhere or Boomerang. You know, just bounce their land. Just buy that turn or two, you know? I think, as foretold, you add, you're adding far too many moving parts to the deck. Let's get this ugly flooded strand out of here. They could choke us. Just throwing that out there. That Choke is a card they could definitely have. If they have choke, we're going to die. But I, my I want definitely the dictate. I don't think I want the Nexus. Yeah, like, Boomerang seems actually kind of great. Like, Jeff Hogan's been playing that, like, uh, that Owling Mine deck, which is pretty gas. Like, same idea. Just, like, Boomerang that land, you know? Alright, so Dictate, Dictate, I think we're going to Giga Drows them on their upkeep. Just a little time walk action. Tracker's cool. Shadow of Doubt. It's too not it's not not consistent enough. Alright, let's dump the uh guess these two.
I just don't want to draw as foretold and not draw serum visions or ancestral visions or vice versa, you know? Yeah, my first Pro Tour ever was uh, Pro Tour Honolulu 2006. That was the Owling Mine Pro Tour. That was like the Owling Mine was like the standard deck. And um, Owling Mine beat every deck in the format but Zoo. Um, it could, and it could never beat Zoo. But Zoo was just playing like obviously 100 million one mana spells. And I played Zoo in that tournament. I played against Owling Mine three times. And it was just the funnest thing ever. They were like, Howling Mine. You're like, all right, Curd Ape, Curd Ape. And they're like, Howling Mine. You're like, all right, Curd Ape, Savannah Lion, Shock You. <laughs> like, it was great. All right, there's Time Warp. That's pretty good. Uh, we're not there yet, though. Like, if we had a Boomerang or something, you know? Like, just... All right, so we're going to... Just Dictate... Mm, have a one-turn respite where we're going to need to hopefully just lead into this time walk. What's up, Dual Shark? Alright, you got clues. I got it. Trust me, you're going to have plenty of cards. Don't worry about it. I mean, San, Sandman, that sounds kind of Win more to me. I don't like Win more things. Respite? What? Right, let's see. It's a No Blood Braid Elf. Alright. I'm not going to be in Cincinnati. My next event is Milwaukee. So for those who don't know... I purchased a house down south in South Carolina uh, a few months ago, and Nicole and I are going down to work on it for two weeks, leaving Saturday. So there'll be no sh nothing. All right, so they definitely have a disenchant or something. Kind of a tilt. So yeah, there'll be no streams uh, for the next two weeks. Unfortunately, I am going to be putting a lot of stuff on YouTube though, and then Nicole and I might try and do some. Uh, some like ghetto laptop streams while we're there, so we'll see. So interesting, they just did literal nothing. What does that mean? Um, crack Clue, Crack Clue is a 6-6. Six, six. Exalted is seven, Crack Clue is eight, Crack Clue is nine. So we actually are dead if we don't do anything. So I guess we just Jace bounce. Podless Pod went 2-3, but the list was a little too cute. There were a lot of tutor targets and not enough consistency. That video will go up on YouTube. Um, I think that that could be improved on. The idea is cool. We can do uh, we can do better, though. All right, so Jace Bounce Tracker. We're not in, like, great shape um, because we need to hit some land drops. We only have one actual time warp. Our other time warps cost a lot. So we're going to need to hit some pretty consistent land drops here. Um, and they have a lot of cards they're working with. So if they have a way to kill my Dictate, it kind of sucks. Yeah, I feel like this deck is missing a bridge. It's missing the, the bridge between Howling Mine and Time Warp on that turn 3 or turn 4. Especially turn four. All right, you got eight cards in end. You're playing Rootbound, Craig. What do you want to do? Attack Jace for one. Besides exhaustion. Cryptic Command is, it seems medium. I mean, if Jace lives and we untap with Jace in play, oh boy. What is in their hand? What are they even doing? All right, well, brainstorm, I suppose. There's our lands, excellent. 
So you put back Temporal Mastery and part the Water Veil. And I think this game is over. Unless they have some sort of like counter spell or something. Maybe not. No traps. How about a, a temporal mastery? Oh, I didn't. I didn't upkeep. The, oh, I'm sorry. I screwed up. I should upkeep. Upkeep this. My hubris. My hubris. My hubris is showing. Guttural response only counters instants. These so are the old gutter balls. Not going to help them out too much. Um, so now I get to cast another Dictate, we get to Brainstorm. Howling Mine is sweet, put back... I don't think we're at the point where Exhaustion matters anymore, nor does Cryptic Command. Put those two back. We are going to Shuffle. So I just cast Dictate, which I should have cast in my upkeep. I think Snapcaster is fine. It's not great, but it's fine. Message them and ask them what's in their hand. Now, I, I really can't put any cards in their hand. Any burn spell goes at Jace. Any creature enters play. Like, unless they literally have seven lands in their hand. They still haven't cracked this clue, either. I just... I, I can't place what their hand could be. Oh, Temple Mastery, how lucky. Yeah, I want something based on lands, not creatures, I feel like. Alright, so... How about that? How about a Brainstorm? Put back Jace and... Whatever, because we can't shuffle anyway. Exhaustion, play a land, play Dictate, crap, dude. and Howling Mine. We'll get there eventually. Oh, did I, I? I did it again? I'm sorry, everyone. It doesn't matter what we do, we just can't lose. Like... Four more cards. Is everyone enjoying watching this? We didn't draw land in all those cards. All right, brainstorm. Still no lands. It's like kind of annoying, I guess. All right, I've had enough of these cards, I guess. Uh. It's like kind of annoying. Bottom cryptic, top islands. Discard Jace, Howling Mine, Cryptic Command, Remand. I don't want this many Howling Mines, honestly, just too many. Draw that. I mean, our opponent can scoop at any time. I don't know what's going on. Like, 22. So now we get to play... We also haven't found a uh, an Ink Moth Nexus yet, which is a little annoying. I know, right? Boo-hoo, poor us. Put back... Now there's a Mastery, so I don't want to shuffle. Put back... Uh, Howling Mine, Mastery on top. Play a land... I believe we can, this is six, seven, eight. We're one short of part the water veil. So we can, let's do a time warp again. Oh, that was enough. That was the, that was the turning point. It was that point right there. It was that time walk. It was the point where everything just tipped over the edge and it became abundantly clear that we were no longer going to fizzle. It's kind of fun. I'm enjoying this. 
All right. Um, oh, fast match, dude. What? I would love to know what was in their hand. I just, I couldn't put cards in their hand. Oh, they heard us saying that's fair. This hand's good. Fairy Conclave? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, all right. Howling Mind Dictate. Well, we can't actually cast Dictate, but I definitely want the Howling Mind. Um, I'm going to bottom Howling Mind top. Well, I'm sorry, the other way. Keep the Howling Mind. Chalice on one. That is totally fine. We have uh, very few one mana cards in our deck. And half of them we can cast through Chalice anyway. So, in our Giga Drowses. Annex or Early Frost? Annex doesn't do enough. Early Frost is like Merfolk? Okay. Early Frost is similar to Giga Drowse. Speak of a devil. A Boro. Hmm. Okay. This is fine. That's not the mirror, that's for sure. So for those who are unaware, we can cast Giga Drowse through Chalice of the Void. Uh, we re replicate it. It counters the original copy but does not counter the other copies because they were not cast. So, okay, a little merfolk action. Hmm. Discard Aether Vial. No land, pretty unlucky for them. Annex, I mean, I do, I do love the card Annex, don't get me wrong, but, okay, Dictator Crucifix, Remand, Giga Drowse, we have a time warp. Hmm. Dismember. Which member? Dismember. Spreading seas honestly seems okay. Still worse than boomeranging them. Okay. So let's plan out these next few turns. I. Kinda like Jace Bounce. Like, they'll just attack and kill the Jace, then the game just ends, because we're just gonna take a million turns. I mean, not a million turns, but we're looking pretty good. Um, I don't really see a way to get Jace into play and then time walk effectively. If we had like an exhaustion or something lined up, maybe we could do that, but um, I think I'm just going to cast Jace. We're going to fetch, I think. We need our blue sources in play. Caliform Pools, obviously not, not, not an actual blue source. Take the hit and Giga Drowse, but like... I don't see Jace, like, doing anything. Like, what do we... We could like maybe set up a turn where we like cast Jace, don't time walk. Because the thing is like, Giga Drowse is minus one because of Chalice, so it costs at least like three to do anything. Um, could like I guess remand or just dictate and just take the hit. I'm not sure. It's kind of an, kind of an interesting spot, honestly. Um, I guess we also have a discard too. Doesn't matter that much, but. They replay it it's to, I'm not sure. I'm just gonna play it. This might be wrong. I'm not really sure. I mean, they're, they're not gonna be playing counter spells. Like, 
They're playing Merfolk. They're already playing Chalice, Vile, and Dismember. There's just no room for counter spells. Yeah, this seems fine to me. Like, obviously, okay, so we're losing this, and they're going to play something. Echoing Truth on Howling Mine? Is that even good? Like, we, uh, just play him again, I guess, right? Like, so I guess they can fit whatever card they damn well please in their deck because they're somehow playing Spreading Seas, Aether Vial, Echoing Truth, Dismember, and Chalice the Void in their deck. I don't know how they fit any Merfolk in their deck, but... All right. God bless him. Upkeep, no. We need to cast Time Warp. Dictate, Remand, Snapcaster. Okay. Time Warp. And the ball is rolling. Let's discard... I think a remand is pretty unnecessary. Oh look, another time warp. Um, we're going to Snapcaster time warp. And we are off to the races. No, this is game one. Um, you are not... Please do not adjust your television set. This is still a game one scenario. Ah, uh, I didn't dictate. I can't... I just can't handle the dictating thing. I just can't do it. I'm sorry. Um, whatever. I don't want a deck. That's my concern uh, with this dictate thing, so... Time warp... Give him the old attack skis. <laughs> Terror, I like that. Yeah. I wonder what point... All right, what... I think most of his stream is going to be basically deciding what's the point where our opponent doesn't want to play anymore. Like, what's their personal tipping point? Like, our last opponent, they had a real deep threshold. They were dead 10 ways till Sunday, about 7 turns before they conceded. So let's see what this person's tipping point is. It's going to be a fun psychological study. We can really get into the minds of our opponents here, you know? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Part the water veil. How about now? Is this enough? No? You want to keep playing? Okay. I respect that. How about now? I kind of want just exhaustion and give them another turn. How about another time warp? Oh, that's the point. They got it. So pretty much actual lethal was their, that was their sell point. Okay. Um, once again, I'm, I guess Cryptic's fine here because it's like, at least it can tap their team and stuff. Yeah, Chow stinks. I guess we're going to want to, hmm. Cryptic. I think I want two Dispels. I assume they're going to have some sort of counter magic post board. Um, and I think that Giga Drowse is going to be good. I think I just don't want Cryptic Command. It just seems so clunky and crappy. I don't want Rest in Peace. I don't want Timely. I don't want 
all this stuff, all my time walks. This looks good to me. Yep, we brought in Giga Drows and two Dispels. Yeah, their tipping point was actual lethal. Okay, got a mulligan. His hand's pretty good if we draw lands. Visions, Remand, Exhaustion. But no no Howling Mine. I'm going to keep, though. I think we can find it with our, our Scry. There it is. We found it. I agree. Four Boomerang, four I have nowhere. Get it done. All right. Aether Vile. How about Serum Visions? Oh my god. Bottom, bottom. I feel like this deck might want another land or two. Um, I feel like we've really, really wanted a land once in a while. And uh, making land drops seems pretty important. If we miss our land drop here, we're in pretty big trouble. Ooh. Coral? Helm Commander. And the land. Thank the Maker. I guess they're just not playing any one drops and they had to go super deep on twos. Mm. No curse catcher. Sweet. Hi, Burnsy. Yeah, Ink Moth is just like super easy to put in the deck. Can jump block in a pinch too. All right, I mean, this is like reasonable. This is a somewhat threatening. They 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 have a good start here. We could be in trouble. Like if they ooh Smuggler's Copter. All right, so what's um what's Straw Land? So we get exhaustion. I get this ball rolling. Oh, they, they leveled up here? Sure. Gimme land. There it is. Oh, yeah. Now we're just, now we're just cooking with fire. Gas, whatever. Stupid saying is. Yeah, Al Alley Cat's totally right, too. Like, if they just, like, gain infinite life or something, or do stupid things, like... Oh, Brezzy? Yeah, they had Chalice game once. They, they don't play Curse Catcher? Well, that's great, because Curse Catcher is actually really good against us. So. All right. You know, but I'm late tired. Here's the earth. It's chilling. Damn, that is a sweet earth, you might say. Brown. All right. Ruling out the ice caves melting, meteors <coughs> becoming crashed into us, the ozone layer leaving, and the sun exploding. We're definitely going to blow ourselves <coughs> up. Okay. So basically, we've got China, France, India, Israel, Pakistan, Russia, the UK, and us with nukes. We've got about 2,600 more than anybody else. Whatever. Anyway, one day we decide those Chinese sons of a bitches are going down. So we launch a new Oh, China. backwards. Way, China's like, shit, shit, who the fuck is shooting us? Oh, well, fire missiles. Then France is like, shit, guys, we got the missiles, they are coming, fire our shit. But then let's have. Well, have a nap. Then fire the missiles! Me <laughs> but I'm late tired. I think we're actually in trouble here. Um, we have Geeky Drows, though, so that kind of works. And they have a counter spell, though, we're kind of dead, so. Um, let's see. We can... You want to get all their blue, as well as their attackers. We can cast Time Warp next turn. The ball is rolling, but we're not like... We're still like slowly starting to roll. Yeah, it was one of the first viral videos for sure. Super cool. Alright. Okay. 
can we get away with casting serum missions and Giga Drows for three? Like Island, Island, Coral Helm, take five. Now, I guess if we tap the Coral Helm, they can just crew. Any creature tap crews Smuggler's Copter. It's kind of a tilt. Um, Cryptic would be fine here. Also, they have a counter spell, which case we just die. So. Yeah, bad bad form on that backwards uh backwards draw step there. So yeah, let me see the Sega. Cannon spectacle? I kind of agree. Maybe one and one, actually. Definitely one and one. Fairy Conclave. All right, them playing that land pre-combat was pretty dumb, I think, because now we know exactly what to tap. We're going to Giga Drows tapping Harbinger, Coral Hum Commander, Island Island. They can fire up Copter, they can fire up Mutavault, they can Master. Actually, that, that kind of kills us if they have a Lord. This is tough, actually. Uh, maybe we can't play around a Counterspell here. Uh, we're dead to too many things. Yeah, I think we have to tap uh, tap all the creatures in the copter. I agree. If we tap... Yeah, they have a lord. They can have a million things just kill us. So, all right, whatever. Tap this three times. They have a counter. We're dead. It's fine. Yeah. Let's go. Here. Here. And here. Here and here and here. And here, and here. <laughs> yeah, we're dead. <laughs> we are 100% dead. They have negate, and we're dead. We could get drowse again. Well, now we can do it for five, but they have another blue. So, they can also put another creature in. Oh, my God. Um, like, there's just no world they don't have a negate or something here. So, or a disdainful stroke. We can try and push it for one more turn. I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah, I mean, they just got too much stuff here, I think. They put in a Lord. Yeah, we're just dead. Um, all right. Um, we just can't tap enough of their lands to matter. We have to tap all their creatures so we don't die. Feels bad, but it is what it is. We're gonna untap. Maybe we draw a land dispel. That could happen. That's that's our out, I think. Alright, so we go here and here and here and here. Land dispel. Ship it. Giga Drow's broken. Oh, Muta Vaults. Yes. Land, Dispel, or Temporal Mastery. That works too. We have, we have like, a small handful of outs. Part the Water Veil, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Those are not going to work. All right, we're dead. Deprive. <sighs> Deprive Exhaustion with Remand Up. That works too. That's another good out. Alright, I mean they got us. What are you gonna do? I'm pretty happy with our choices as far as sideboarding and stuff, so we're gonna run it back. They had a good hand, they were on the play. They had good threats, vile, counterspell. 
It's a thing. Um, hmm. I think we keep this. Mostly on the back of our Serum Visions. We have Turn 3 Dictate. We have Jace plus Mastery. Even if the Jace dies, we can set up the Mastery. I'm going to keep. I mean, Deprive is actually just Counterspell, right? They Mulligan to 6. They Scry to the bottom. Do we fetch here? So we don't have to screw up our Scry? Yeah. From our a cruise on Norwegian, Norwegian cruise lines. Dispel, Dictative Crucifix, another part the Water Veil. So we got to bottom bolt these. I mean, these are all lands, obviously. Those are pretty bad, pretty bad Serum Visions. Turn one, Relic. I mean, that's almost worthless. We have two Snapcaster Mage in our deck, and that is it. Island Serum Visions. So we're playing a land. We obviously want the island. And then we're going to dictate. And then I would like to set up, I guess, Reman Serum Visions is fine. All right, I can buy all that. Cruises are great. Yeah, the, I don't know why it doesn't show the mouse. Couldn't tell you. OBS, Magic Online. OBS is weird. Magic Online is weird. Smuggler's Copter is weird. That's so good for us. Um, Maybe we actually... We'll just say go. We'll see what they do. I'm almost assuredly casting Dictate. But remanding like a two-drop creature here so they can't Copter is pretty awesome. But... Now, the private is fine. Do you guys like it that you can't see the mouse, or would you like to see the mouse? If you want to see the mouse, you're going to make Burnsy jealous. <laughs> it's a joke. It's not a funny joke, it's just a joke. Mirror match seems awful. All right. Whatever. Copter hits us. It's fine. Burnsy! Zergling. Hey, Flash. Want to hear a joke? Good land. So... I like having Remand available here. I like casting Serum Visions. I like... We could just Jace and set up Temporal Mastery and let the Jace die, which is fine. Um, uh, pretty, I'm not sure, honestly. Jace putting back Mastery is actually pretty good. Because um, then we get the Time Walk and cast Serum Visions, and draw more cards, etc, etc. And they have to attack Jace. Other options are just Serum Visions, and then reman their next play, but they might be able to recast it anyway. Also, we can use Reman to defend our Mastery if they try and counter it. I like Jace here. Sometimes, 4 mana Brainstorm is good enough. Don't Spell Pierce me. I'd imagine they would have spell pierce this. Because this the dictates the important card. I'm playing two Jace. Exhaustion is also fantastic. Let's put back part the water veil, temporal mastery. And we're uh We're all rolled up. I think I'm playing hockey tonight. That's pretty sweet. Bye, Jace.
They loot an island away. They kill Jace. Exhaustion's pretty great too, honestly. Alright, so reveal mastery. Why? Yes, I would like to do that. Draw a card first. They relic us. Okay. <laughs> Draw part the water veil. Deprive. Oh, can't reman that, but we can exhaustion them. So, unless they have another deprive, this is fine. Okay. Most fun modern deck? I'm not sure. I don't really have fun, so it's hard for me to figure that one out. Kinda lame. We did get to boomerang two lands though, so okay. They can only have so many copies of the Depri deprive in their deck. Ah, Aether Vial, yes. I play roller hockey. Alright, I mean Shields are down, we part the water veil and start calling it a day, right? We're not there yet. All right, yeah, we get it. Graveyard's gone, sure. Why is it always backwards? All right, part the water veil. Can't play Spell Pierce in your Chalice of the Void deck, right? I mean, part is our win condition, but like, I mean, we gotta, we gotta do our thing here, right? Exhaustion is perfect. This is actually the perfect, perfect sequence of events here. So now we get to Exhaustion, Howling Mine, and Serum Visions. That is perfect. Draw land. It's Emperor Mastery. Alright, but these are good. Jace can put back Mastery. Two Masteries. So, hmm. I think we want all these cards. Uh, no, Matt. So, if you're sitting in, welcome to the stream. Uh, my name is Jim Davis. Thanks for joining me. And we are playing Goober 1501's Donation Bonus League of Taking Turns. So we're just rocking the list and having some fun. And we'll uh, do some uh, talk about what to possibly fix at the end. Oh, it's only lands? I just skip the whole on tap step. Oh, creatures and lands? That's pretty weird. All right. It's kind of annoying, but sure. I don't think we have it yet, but I think we are in good shape. The fact that they got to add tap their vial kind of sucks. Yes, we get it. Our, our graveyard is no more. Okay. Time warp. So close to being a good draw. Just not quite. We really need to draw lands. I did keep both these on top, so that is a little bit my fault, I guess. Um, if I'm not back in five minutes, just wait longer. I think we just part the water veil and set up for a, a time warp howling mine turn.
I mean, the Jace is just going to die with the Masteries. And if they untap with a bunch of mana in play and a bunch of cards in their hand, they could, like, counterspell us out of the game, theoretically. I think we're fine here. Now we're drawing four. We can just cast Mastery. Like, drawing four cards a turn. Oh, they got us. We Ah, oh, damn. Damn, Masteries. Um, Snapcaster Mage. We can't do it because they have this relic. They've been holding on tooth and nail to this relic. That relic. Discard a Remand, which seems pretty useless. And I guess another Remand, I guess? Remand seems pretty pointless. Draw four, Dispel is a nice draw. Serum Visions and a bunch of lands. Um, So with, we have Time Warp Jace now? The, uh, the game's just over, whatever. Um, there's no point in even thinking anymore. Um. We just gotta do what we're doing quickly, so we don't lose on time. Jace, Brainstorm. Put back Mastery. I guess Mastery, whatever. Time Warp. We're not gonna deck ourselves, we're good. You gotta find our, uh... Find our stuff. Do that. Let's um brainstorm. There's part of the water veil. We did it. Put back dictate whatever land. Four, eight, it's only nine. We already we already time walk this turn though. So it doesn't even matter. Whatever I do, I should do it fast. Um, yeah, I kind of like Snapcaster. Make them use their Relic. We already have one extra turn waiting, so... Oh, I didn't put the Master, whatever. So, do that. Uh, you could the spell, bottom, sure, top. Discard land, untap, draw a million cards, blah, 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 play part the water veil. Targeting Nexus. Animate Nexus. Attack. Don't even use Jace because we're wasting time. Discard. Dictate. And whatever. Dispel. And they're dead. With a cool 
eight cards left in the deck and three minutes and 40 seconds left in the thing. We have Dispel. We just have the world. They also, I mean, they use the mana for uh, whatever it's called. We're playing Infect. Cool. All right. Sorry I wasn't looking at chat too much there. Obviously, we had a little time, little time issues. It takes a little while to, fin to win the game with this deck. You have to take many, many turns and draw lots of cards, etc., etc. If you're just tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name's Jim Davis. This is a donation bonus league for Goober1501. Taking turns. We've taken a lot of turns so far. We lost to... What did we lose to? I forgot. Uh, oh, Tron, right? Yeah, weird game against Tron. He mulliganed to four in game three. We've beaten Merfolk, and we've beaten some sort of, like, Ponza deck or something. And we're having a great time. Merfolk, I think Merfolk is terrible. I think that Merfolk is just a really bad humans deck. I've always thought Merfolk was bad, but now that humans is a deck, like, looking at Merfolk compared to humans is an actual joke. Uh, top, top. Black Cleave Cliffs, huh? Is there a Jun deck that's on like Pusher Bolt, Tarmogoyf? Sure. Excellent. Ten points to Gryffindor. So we have Exhaustion lined up at Safe from a Thought Seize, which is great. I, mean, I don't think that gets awful. Like, I think that gets playable. Like, if Merfolk won, an, won a tournament, I wouldn't be like, oh my god. I'd be like, alright, yeah, it's modern. It happens. But I think the deck is just, frankly, worse than humans. They have Decay here. It's annoying. Nope. Lightning Bolt. And anything else, opponent? Because you're sure going to be exhausted come next turn. If I'm not back in five minutes. Dredge is fine. Just wait longer. Scavenging news is whatever. Um. Hmm. So, we would like to cast another Howling Mine before casting Exhaustion, but I think, like, if we cast it and they have Maelstrom Pulse or Bloodbraid Elf, things could get a little yucky. We'll just take our draw here. Then we have, like, Howling Mine, Double Giga Drows, which is nice. Dude. I feel like it's like once the fourth exhaustion. This card's just been great. Like real this like as I was talking about like bridge the gap kind of cards. This card's just doing that perfectly. Like what a great turn that was for us, you know? I would love to draw another exhaustion. Remand isn't bad. I mean we are starting to die. So I'm okay with Howling Mind Remand, I suppose. But if you if you draw, we need to draw we need to draw a time walk next turn, hopefully. Uh no, we have two hundred and fifty seven subscribers. We need one thousand for a puppy for Nicole. That's one thousand at a time, not like one thousand total. Like the number goes down as people don't don't re up their subscription, it has to be we've hit the threshold of one thousand. Um, the cannibal, I don't really agree. I think that the deck just kind of isn't very good in general. Um, 
The fact that there's just a very easy way to describe it now by saying it's just a much worse humans deck just further illustrates the point, I think. We have Remand for Blood Braid Elf and stuff. 257 subs. Yeah, I mean, I guess if they have two bolts here, we're dead, but that's just uh, occupational hazard, I suppose. We have Remand against Coligan's Command, Maelstrom Pulse, Liliana. We have most things covered. Two bolts does kill us. They've already cast the bolt. And they have 42 cards left in their deck. So, what I'm saying is, if they have it, I get to... I get the Tilt Rage Monster. Mm. So... We're just going to say go. Okay, I don't like this long pause here. You're gonna let me draw some cards. We drew a time warp. Everything's going good here. Probably slow roll on the double bolt, but uh, that's okay, I guess. Mm -hmm. I'm the time warp guy. You son of a bitch. I mean, whatever. <laughs> like, <laughs> they drew three bolts in their top. 18 cards had to be bolt. I think our play was correct. I think leaving a remand is correct. I think not tapping the creatures is correct. What are you going to do? All right. Um, we're going to bring in our ley lines, I suppose. And we're going to cut. Hmm. What do we want to cut? I don't mind rest in peace. I mean, it doesn't... Hmm, yeah, do you mind rest in peace? Hmm. Like, rest in peace only stops Tarmogoyf. That's basically the only thing that it does. Which is their best and fastest threat, but it's not worth it. We gotta cut a lot of cards for these crappy ley lines, too. Dump Cryptic? I could buy that. Uh, Hibernation's like. doesn't even bounce half their threats. They're gonna have Fulminator Mage, too. This seems like it might be a rough matchup. Um, maybe we cut Jace, also. Ticket Drow seems okay. I don't mind just like. Tapping, like it being a bad exhaustion. I don't really mind that. Um, remand will be good on the play. Maybe we should go on the one Jace. No, Snapcaster's fine, I think. Maybe not. Hmm. I'm not sure, honestly. The big problem is they just have answers to our permanence. Like, they have Abrupt Decay and stuff. If they can stop our Howling Mines, they can win pretty easily. I mean, Scavenging Goose is irrelevant. Like, they're, they're just, it's just a Grizzly Bear. And then... Uh, K Command is basically irrelevant. All it does is kill Howling Mine, so we're going to do this. Uh, Podless Pod will be on YouTube over the next few days. Follow on Twitter and YouTube for your updates. This is fine. I'm cool with this. No, we, we need it. We need every Howling Mine. Howling Mine is the core of the deck. We can't not have Howling Mine. So this is the matchup where 
I guess a Boro and, and our non-basics are actually going to hurt us. Because if we were able to play all islands and not be vulnerable to Fulminator Mage, that would be really, really cool. But, uh, Lab Maniac is just not necessary. <sighs> Fresh meat. Play Dredge, please. Well, donation bonus leagues, how you get me to play things, but our, our queue is currently full, Wise so... Man say, forgiveness is divine, that's but really bad for us. Price for late pizza. Well, Bullwinkle, if you're good at something, never do it for free. If I took free, if I took free requests, I would be... Streaming every day, 24 hours a day, and yeah, so. They have choke, they have choke. I mean, if they're smart, they'll take dictate. Burnsy! Yeah, so we'll, we'll play the Burnsy deck at some point. I don't know what the holdup is here. Like... Without a dictate, our hand looks pretty awful. I mean, they're much more likely to have three to four Fulminator Mages. If they even have Choke, it's probably one. So. Don't tell me what Burnsy wants, alright? I know what Burnsy wants. Burnsy wants magic cards. Well, our opponent takes forever to take the obvious card. Burnsy want a magic card? There you go. Have an excommunicate, Burnsy. I would never excommunicate you, but have one. Hey, look, our opponent has made the correct choice. Um, no real reason to fetch yet, I guess. Tilt. Tilt. I hate miracles. Just throwing that out there. Always hated miracles. Never draw them at the right times. <coughs> Joke. Alright, well. Let's remand. I mean, Adam, I, I, if they have a direct answer to it, sure. But, like, Melvin. remand is just, like, it's just remand. It's not great. I mean, the Cannibal, I, I know people are very, like, I don't want to say sensitive, but, like, sensitive, basically, over their modern deck choices. Merfolk's obviously fine. It's not awful. I just don't think it's a great choice. It's not a deck that I would ever play in a tournament. Howling Mine. All right. Uh, Yeah, I mean, grip it and rip it. Let's go. If you always drew him at the right time, it would never be a miracle when it happens. It's fair. That's fair. Mm -hmm. No Coligan's Command, no Abrupt Decay, no Maelstrom Pulse, no Ancient Grudge, no... None of those cards, please. Burnsy. Good job, bud. Hey! We did it! I'm gonna fetch. Alright. Okay. I think killing Holly Mine is job number one, so the fact that it's still alive is great for us. Temporal Mastery, again in the wrong spot. Stupid Temporal Mastery. Now we have Snap Remand. That's kind of cool. I think Elves and Humans are different enough where you can, you can accrue a competitive advantage for either one. Like, Elves kills on turn 4, unimpeded, but is much weaker against Sweepers. You know, so like, they're different enough where, like, elves will deal 115 damage on turn 4, unimpeded. Whereas neither humans nor merfolk can do that. Hmm. I don't really want to remand either one of these cards.
I would not mind getting Snapcaster Mage in play. I would like to draw a card. I would like to block Bloodbraid Elf with Snapcaster Mage. These are all things that I would like, but I guess I'm just going to do it. Like, the Snapcaster is not getting better. Um, I'm going to re remand the Lightning Bolt. It sounds stupid, but I just want to draw a card to try and find a Time Warp, honestly. This is a hilarious situation. This is, this is a very, very awkward situation. Um, Bloodbraid Elf is kind of good. Ooh, see, that's what I was looking for. So now there's actually an argument for not blocking because it's possible we could take... Because no, they just play Land Bolt, the thing. If we, if we exhaustion them, never mind, we're blocking. I think all of the Death and Taxes decks are also pretty bad. Again, if they won a tournament, I wouldn't be surprised, but I think the, the core of the deck is just fundamentally underpowered. And they are really in the tank here. All right. All right, Howling Mine. Help us out here. Give me an, another Howling Mine. Nope. Leyline of Sanctity. Awesome. That's just great. All right. Well... I like playing Legacy Goblins. All right. Obviously, we Jace here. We only actually get one Temporal Mastery out of it. Um, are we Exhaustion and just try again? Yeah, I think I like Exhaustion and try again. I'm pretty unhappy with this Ley Line in my hand. Like they get to go land, bolt, snapcaster, oh, attack the yeah. three. Which is not great, but... See, this is a spot I would love to, to uh, remand the bolt, but that does not seem possible. Hmm. So now he might just die, which is also not a cool thing. Um, we might just need to use Jace as an unsummon. <laughs> um, as much, I mean, we, we can just cast Temporal Mastery if we draw one more land. They have Mouser Bolts, we can't win anyway. Hi. Yeah, I honestly think that Boomerang would be good in this deck. Just regular old boomerang. That was close. Almost F6 my turn. I think green black Tron is still the best, but I'm not actually sure. Alright. Leave Ink Moth to block. We need our lands though. Like we this is a deck that has to make every land drop, you know? And the Ink Moth dies to actual everything. Yeah, I think this is fine. Right, Max. Like, Boomerang on turn two is off in a time walk, and then later on it's just cheap, so I can double spell. You know? Yeah, I've seen Jeff's Al Alley Mine deck. My first Pro Tour was the original Alley Mine Pro Tour. Honolulu 2006. What's better, Eldrazi Tron or Red Green Eldrazi? I'm not sure. I think they're both fine. 
I think the best Eldrazi deck is the Serum Powder Colorless Eldrazi deck, truth be told. That deck's actually impressed me. All right. Okay. I mean, we have a very reasonable chance to win this game. I'm not going to lie. I mean, we have six cards coming effectively, as long as we draw a land. And if you don't draw a land, I'll probably draw a time walk. So, God, it's never in the right spot. Okay. Um, yeah, that's seven. Perhaps today is a good day to die. All right. Let's uh, keep it rolling. Let's try and get this show on the road. That's kind of a tilt. Um, exhaustion probably kills us because they just play a land and bolt us. You know, they're very good at that. Um, I would love to get more stuff in play. We could try and block with Nexus. That does work. If we exhaustion, block with Nexus, play Dictate, that's not bad. Um, then we lose our Nexus, which really sucks because we miss a land drop, but um, then, we, then we draw three cards a turn, but then we need to actually make a, let me draw a land for this. That's, that's pretty likely with three cards coming. Other option is just cast mastery and try again. Um, but then we're kind of out. We know they have bolt. They use the bolt. How do we know? This bolt is the bolt we remanded, correct? Right. They bolt next as we live and we still cast dictate. What's up, HZ? Yeah, this bolt is the is the bolt they already cast, I think. Um I also would like to cast Time Warp and Serum Visions in one turn. Alright. I think I'll buy I'll buy trying again. I'm not I'm not honestly sure what's best here. I guess at least this way we still make a land drop. I could have upkeep to dictate, but then we only have five, only have four mana. Yeah, I can't do that. Maybe I could have. I hold on. Did I have six already? I did. I should have upkeep dictate. Part the water veil. Six, two. So now we get to serum visions and part. Alright, I think we're I think we're in good shape now. Oh, another ley line. God I hate this card. Uh Delta Visions. I'm gonna bottom bolt those. Those are not those are not time walks. And then we're going to I bet my walkie. Heart. Did you draw an exhaustion? Uh, that's Holy probably crap, better. Yeah, that's that's fair. I uh, I see what you're saying. Oh, I didn't do it again. God damn it! All right. Um. So you want to Giga Drows, exhaustion dictate? They draw. Yeah, that's that's good. All right. Actually, they be Serum Visions, too. I don't care if Bob attacks us. It's fine. What's Serum Visions? You want this land. Well, end step is our end step, so... 
Oh, right. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I should I should have done this on their turn. Whatever. The extra card they draw is not going to matter. They can't cast any of their cards, so whatever. Tarmogoyf. What's up, Dunk Truck? I think at this point we basically can't lose, so I'm just going to try and execute whatever we have as fast as possible. Like, we have two time warps already in our hand. Now we're drawing four cards a turn. We already have our Nexus. We've only cast one part the Water Veil. Oh, they get, they get exiled. We've cast one part the Water Veil, so we have two left. I guess they could have Bolt. No, they have to have Push. For Ink Moth Nexus, that could be a little annoying, but... We also have Snapcaster Mage, which attack, can attack a few times also. So... Giga Drows... I don't know if we actually want to play another Howling Mine. We draw 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, so you have like 5 turns left. Let's, um... Snap part the water veil is what is this? This is oh it's gone. Never it's on the graveyard. Um, all right. Uh, temporal mastery, snapped temporal mastery. Yeah. Goal is just to get the snapcaster in play. Only takes a few attacks to actually kill them, so. This, and this, will, this will draw a fatal push if they have it, so. Sure. So this draws out push. Now we have the lock to kill them. No, they're just, they're done. They don't want, they're, they're F6-ing. Literally. Parch the freaking water veil. Wake him up. Wake me up before you go, go. I'm sure there are a bunch of things that could have happened there that were more optimal, but I won anyway. All right, still seems like a hard matchup, though. Um, I think we're going to cut the... I mean, Jace was, like, okay that game. Seems much worse in the draw, though. I think I want the third Giga Drows as, like, a pseudo-exhaustion. And we're just going to try and get him, I guess. Lingering Jund went 4-1. We lost the last round to Bogles. Let's get him. We're 2-1 right now. If you're just tuning in, welcome to the stream. We have a fantastic 884 viewers. Give yourself a hand. Fantastic audience. We're playing... Goober 1501's Taking Turns deck for a donation bonus league. There it is right there. Uh, we're, our queue is full, so if you'd like your deck played, please message me and we can figure out a good time to do it. Right now is not uh, not going to work, but we are going. Hey, I like the ley line when we draw it in our opener. Every hand's great. Pre-game actions. And um, all the leagues that you saw today will be up on the YouTube channel. So if you missed them, you can check them out there. Abora. So kind of interesting. I think we want to just not play non-basics if possible. Hello, everybody. What's up, bud? Jim. What's up? How much more subs do we need until a puppy? 
Uh, right now we need 743. Okay, just wanted to know that. Bye. Okay. Anything else? You said bye. Plus. You, you said just wanted to know that. Anything else? Plus, I really like the card you first played. It looks like it's a a sunrise by flower in flowers. That's cool. Close. See you later. Later, bud. Close the door, please. Serum Visions, Howling Mine. Sounds scripted. Yeah, Nicole, Nicole might have sent him in to do that. I'm just throwing that out there. It was not me. I'm not the one who wants the puppy, all right? Nicole does. So, yeah. It wasn't me. <laughs> you used to call me What's up, Santa Cruz? What's up, Thanks like you're following. John does want a puppy. I'm just, I mean, it's John and Nicole want the puppy really bad, not me. Cole against Command. We entered a contest. Yeah, we lost. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty fun. They Cole against Commanded and made themselves discard a sorcery, so Tarmogoyf would deal more damage. Uh, this is this is rough. If they have Fall Manor Mage, we're actually in, in kind of a poopy spot here. Or if they have a way to kill my dictate, could be rough. But I would say Jun seems like a pretty bad matchup. Um, they're already disruptive in general with their discard spells, with their fast clock. The fact that they have Coligan's Command, Abrupt Decay, Maelstrom Pulse to kill our permanents, and um, have the fast clock. I don't know. It seems a little scary. Hello, Jim. I always, I was always like you are a weird player, but really cool stream. Definitely watch your YouTube channel. Thanks. All right. So, and step, slip the little dictate in there, and pray that we get something going. Because right now we're pretty dead. Honestly, I think we're actually dead on board. So, show me exhaustion, something, boomerang, not hollowed fountain, not ley line of sanctity, good lord, come on, come on, not like this, oh, island, island serum visions, giga drows, something, okay, we're dead. I mean, these don't do anything, so put those there. Well, I'll casually display this tapped and hope they think we have Giga Drows and don't kill us. Yeah, I, I, I really hate this card. I hate it. Just like why I hate miracles, I don't like cards that only work at certain times. I don't want my cards to play me. I want to play my cards. And this is unacceptable. So is this, honestly, but... Alright, we are dead. Opponent, you have succeeded in killing us. If we had a Giga Drowse, maybe we have a chance, but... Even with Leyline, they just played some creatures and killed my Howling Mine and then killed us. We were drawing Time Warp and Leyline. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, I'm a pretty big Leyline naysayer. All right, so we're two and two. We're going for the three two with Goober's Goober's deck, and um, let's see if we can do it. I hope we can. Deck seems fun. Jun seems tough. Um, I think that I don't really know. I'm not sure what you can do. What you do, what you can do to make Jun better. I do think this deck could be improved, though. I think that the uh, the idea of this deck is actually pretty good, but I think the way it's built right now is not not ideal. I kind of think Jace and Cryptic Command both suck. Um, oh, we're two and two. I think the card Boomerang would be great in this deck. Blue Leyline? What's Blue Leyline do? Everything's legendary. 
I don't like any ley lines. I hate ley lines. Boo, ley lines. This is how Burnsy feels about ley lines. Takes a nap. Everything is flash. That's that's not worth a card or a ley line. All right, match time. Let's go. Yeah, like, I, I just don't want to put any cards in my deck. Especially because this deck draws so many cards. Like, it's one thing with Dredge, right? Where, like, you almost never actually draw a card past your, your first opening seven or eight cards. This deck draws every card. You draw your entire deck every game. You know, like, why do you want Ley Lines? You should have draw them. It's going to suck. And even there, we had it. And we still lost, you know, like... Okay, uh, uh, I don't like Cryptic that much. I like Boomerang. I want to see Boomerangs in this deck. Like, if this is a Boomerang, oh boy. Just turn two Boomerang their land in the play? That buys infinite time. It's basically an exhaustion. Yeah, this hand's pretty bad. The control player in me sees four lands remand cryptic and is like, we're on the play, this is gas. But, I don't know. Like, the Howling Mines are by far the most important cards. We do have remand on the play, which is usually quite good. I don't, I don't hate this hand. I think I'm the draw, I'm mulligan. I think on the play, I'm going to keep it. I know it's a combo deck, but... I know we need Howling Mines, I understand that. On the draw, I would mulligan, but I think Remand on the play is too good. We have a ton of good draws. This is fine. They're also going to think we're playing a control deck, which is kind of cool, so. Like, we have like 12 great draws. Oh, God. Oh, boy. All right, well, now our hand's total trash. But our hand would have been trash anyway, and if we mulliganed our hand, would have been worse against the discard anyway, so... All right, we have... We have stuff. Killer Germ, I have no idea. Wow. Uh, better lucky than good. That's for sure. Told you it was a good keep. Have a card, opponent. I'll bet you like cards. I like cards, too. Using as foretold? Yeah. It's like this, I don't, I don't even care about this anymore. Whatever. These cards suck. Take them. Uh, I think Howling Mind's pretty important. I don't know. Who's calling me? Whatever. I'm busy. Ooh. Interesting. Do we... Exhaustion one land. Otherwise, they can untap and cast Liliana. Um, if only Exhaustion was an instant. Looks like Mardu. I could see Mardu here. It does stop Coligan's command also. Yeah, just do it. We're just building a bridge to Time Warp. This feels not great, but whatever. If they, if they untap and they call against Command, my Howling Mine, I'm going to be pretty sad. So let's at least try and get one more card out of it, if possible. And I agree, they're probably playing Mardu. Tapped? Uh... That's exhaustion. I mean, there's no... I don't know. I guess maybe. <gasps> we did it at the right time. We always get it backwards, usually. Sweet. I mean, now we're now we're just now we're just 
This is a joke. Jace the Mind Sculptor. Hmm. Yeah, we're some time warp. Bridge complete! That is a good way to bridge the gap to uh, time warp. Alright. So, interesting spot. We can part the water veil and keep going. Only drawing one extra card. Or we can Jace plus Howling Mun. We're going to Jace plus Howling Mun. Because now we're, now we're, we're not immune to, but resistant to Coligan's command. The Jace is going to be very hard to kill. We're going to plus it, play around Bolt. We're going to do ourselves. I don't really care about their cards. Serum Visions. Uh, we, I'm going to bottom that. I want to draw a land to cast Temporal Mastery, I think. I want to save the part of the Water Veil. I think it's our brainstorming. There's no, I don't think that, that letting Jace just die to a Bolt is worth miracling this next turn. We don't have much else to do. So I don't mind just casting this next turn. Everything we need is in play. So, totally disagree. They, they just bolt Jace and we lose it. I want Jace in play. Jace is the best possible Howling Mind there is. You so, me on my... you know, Blood Moon us or something? I mean, <laughs> if you got nine cards in your hand and that's your play, God bless you. Remand. Giga Drowse. Serum Visions. <sighs> hmm. Okay, so... I guess there's a slight fear... I mean, we we, we, we Giga Drowse, we're fine. Okay. So... I guess we're just gonna cast this part, the Water Veil. I mean, let's, we'll brainstorm and see what, what happens, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Okay, so I want this remand. I'm sorry, I don't want the remand. Uh, it's, it's not a fetch land. Never mind, it's not a fetch land. It doesn't matter. Uh, remand and temporal mastery, but now I can't cast serum visions. All right, so I'll snap time warp. Yeah, we'll do that. All right, so yeah, that, that, snap time warp. This will eat their push. I mean, the game's over. The game is completely over. Let's do the time warp again. Yes, please. Draw some cardos. <whistles> Terrible mastery. Yes, I would like to cast that. Uh, yeah, free combat, dictate. We already have a time walk. And this game is over. No lands. Ugh. That's annoying. All right. Um. Sell out with me. Oh, yes. Beretta. With me tonight. Put back remand. Dictate. Uh. Serum visions, draw, dictate, bottom remand. I think I think three howling minds is the number, but it's fine. We have a million in our hand anyway, so bottom that. Uh, play dictate. Attack for two. Blah blah blah. 
Beretta, thank you, my friend. Beretta, what's up? You are a new sub. Beretta, what's your name? Where are you from? Walter. How long have you been playing Magic? Favorite card of all time? Favorite deck of all time? Most important, what's your name? Where are you from? Perhaps and what do you want to name Nicole's to new puppy? I hate the miracle mechanic. Obviously, Terminus is a good card, you know? All right, play that. Now we're approaching Comedy Hour over here. Uh, three, six... Put back Jace Mastery. Play a land. Time War. Blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to cast his exhaustion. Actually, I want to tap their. Uh, tap their swan. Oh, whatever. Else to keep. Exhaustion. Do that, blah, me, blah, me blah. blah. Our opponent is a, a glutton for punishment. We've been we've been experimenting with our opponents, uh, trying to see how long it takes them to concede. This one's one of the uh, one of the ones that's a glutton for punishment. I think this game's been over for a few turns now, but they want to keep playing, so let's give them the uh, option. So J Jay's ultimate, they actually have seven cards in their hand, so like it's not actually super doable. I guess there's Howling Mines, too. I doesn't, it doesn't matter what we do. We can't lose. Whatever. It's fine. Do that. Uh, part of the Water Veil is 9. We're going to... It's just... Cryptic. I just bounce that. Attack for 2. Have a little funsies. Not gonna play any more Howling Mines. We don't. Oh, and that's it. That was the point. It was just a swamp. The swamp was like the vulnerable point. It was like the the weak point on the Death Star, where if you just hit the swamp, the whole thing blows up. We found it. We found it. All right, Beretta is Michael from the UK. Awesome. Playing Magic since Invasion. Favorite card of all time is Jace. Cool. And uh, favorite deck is. Crack Clan Ironworks from Old Extended with Mirror Incubator and Goblin Charbelcher. Sweet. I would love the puppy to be called Dollar because he was a moneymaker. Nice. I like that. Welcome, my friend. Thanks for the sub. Uh, so we're going to want these Ley Lines, I guess. I really, really hate the Ley Lines. Uh, we want... So they're a little more... I, don't, I want these Rest in Peace against them because their graveyard actually really matters. I think I don't want... Like, they're actually worse at attacking Jace. Um, I don't want Cryptic. I, I guess I don't want Giga Drowse. I'm not really sure, honestly. I guess I'll cut one Jace again? I, I don't really know. Honestly, I'm not sure what I want to do here. Um, I mean, Mardu can play Blood Moon, which is a pretty good card right now. I don't like they were putting a lot of air in our deck. Uh, it makes me a little sad, but I guess the cards we're cutting are also kind of air. So, except for Jace. Not really sure, honestly. So we're loading, loading, on, loading on the fly here. Please don't bring Leylands in. If I'm not bringing them in here, then like, what are they even there for, you know? Alright, I mean, this hand is not great. This hand is soft to double discard. But we're going to keep it, I guess. Alright, if we lose this game, I'll consider just not bringing in Leyland for game three. Okay? Don't we effectively thought seize ourselves whenever we draw a ley line? Yeah, kinda. That's why I don't like them. I think I hate them. They suck, but. We don't thought seize ourselves. We mulligan. Um, so obviously, we have cards that are very important. We would like to protect from. Uh, protect? I think we're gonna play around Fulminator Mage again. They have a second discard spell? God damn it. It's 
So I mean, like, obviously this game, if this was a ley line, our hand's actually insane. So... Oh. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Alright. Well. Hi. Well, the Legacy Leyline deck is obviously different, and I would actually love to play that deck. That deck looks really fun. Oh, they drew a land. Oh! That's that's funny. Uh, yeah, this does seem a lot better than Jund. Jund seems tough. This deck doesn't have Decay, or Pulse, or a Fast Clock, so... Alright, I mean, we can cast Leyline of Sanctity. <laughs> We've done it. We've achieved Tron. Are they gonna fulminator mage us? What is this? Why why you gonna know, bolt us? <laughs> They're just trying to see how many cards they can cast that target us before we cast Leyline. Discard Reveler Blood Moon. Blood Moon's pretty bad. No lands still. So they have three spells in their hand, and they have no lands. We don't really care about Blood Moon. We have plenty of uh, islands in our hand. We have achieved success. I think we're just going to cast this. Exhausting one land in this current scenario. We have nothing going on. Is not really part of my uh, part of my agenda here. Easy. <sighs> Give the Leyline to Burnsy. I would if I could. Alright, well. We found a Howling Mine. That's a start. And we get to nug him for one poison. Thank goodness for little victories. I mean, we just try and slow. I mean... If they cast a bunch of spells, they get to uh, make a bunch of tokens and buy us time. I don't know. It seemed fine to me. I'm not really sure. Double ley line unbeatable. Oh my god, we can't ever win. Okay, this card's a problem. We have discovered a problem. And it's Campbell makes him mm -mm good. Hi. We have no answers to that card. Not one. We boarded them all out. We have one Jace. One Jace is our only answer to that card. We boarded out all of our cryptics because they suck. We boarded out one Jace. Problem is, we can bounce it, but they can just recast it. So, Blood Moon. Okay, that's pretty weird. They would still have Blood Moon over deck, but okay. Yeah, like my Nexus. I like my Nexus. Honestly? 
We're close to conceding. Oh, I can't recast it now. It's true. This is our this is our our chance. Oh, it's always backwards. This feels nice. Somebody wants to say hi. What's up, Sammy? Hello. Hello, everybody. Oh. He's hey, off the camera. He's on the camera. They can't, they can't see him. Hi, uh, Sammy. What's up, bud? How you doing? You want to hang out with Bernsey? Oh, I'm doing fine. want to hang out? Oh, I love hanging out with Bernsey. He's my brother. That's right. All right. Well, here, come here. This is, this is John Stribble, Sammy. Hi. We sometimes... We... Sammy usually visits, and sometimes he usually visits in John and Jim shows. Well, he's so always there. If you guys talk. haven't seen the John and Jim show, go to YouTube and watch it. Well, see you guys later. Look at that promotion. He's seven years old. He's bumping the John and Jim show. All right. Anyway, we did it. We drew. We drew the case one outer. Bernsey's Bernsey's just butt sniffing. They're making sure they know who we are. Okay. Um, so we bounce that. The problem is they can just kill. It doesn't matter if they kill Jace, right? We've seen it in Unsummon. All right. Yeah, we're we're good. We're golden. The one outer, folks. The one outer. think it's going to be okay. It's one of the many scenarios where are where people blood move themselves out of the game. They drew a swamp. That's fine. As long as they can't cast that stupid card, it's fine. As long as they don't have double lightning bolt either. If we lose to, to double lightning bolt, I, oh, never mind. We're good. We're good. Okay, Chase is dead. Looting, sure. Discard two lands, sure. We're going to end step crew fix. Like, I think we're actually pithing needle. Gonna name Jace, I guess. We only jokes on you. We don't have any more Jaces in our deck. Yeah, well, I think we're um, I think we're in pretty good shape here. We're drawing three cards. We're still pretty alive. Um, we have a lot of good draws. I'm feeling pretty good here. It's bath time. You can see him. Up here, and there they are. Bath time. Okay, cool. They named Jace. There are no Jaces in our deck. We do time warp, and that's got to be the game. Book it. Oh yeah. Put a fork in them. They're done. Rest in peace, exhaustion. Bottom rest in peace. Top exhaustion. Serum visions. Temporal Mastery? Oh, yeah. And Dictate. I don't think we need a Dictate. We're going to bottom that. Bottom Dictate. Top Temporal Mastery. And then we're going to play a Howling Mine. And a Time Warp. And here we go. How do I plan on killing them? Same way I always kill them with that stupid card that makes the land into a thingy. Snapcaster works too. We still have Giga Drows in our deck too, so. Alright, what's um. Snap. 
snap. We have eight mana. Snap time warp. Remember that time I said we couldn't actually win this game because we only had one out of that stupid card they played? I remember. We have Giga Drows. Oh, look, Leyline of Sanctity. Rest in peace. Sure. Time Warp, Exhaustion, Exhaustion. We have 26 cards. Um, hmm. Don't want to cast other dictate, I don't think. I think four a turn is enough. Part the water veil, sweet. Now we just need a Giga Drowse. We didn't board those out, did we? We, we, we? They're all on our deck, right? Yeah. Oh, we did board them out. Hmm. That actually complicates things. So we have zero copies of Giga Drows in our deck. We still have all of our part the water veils though, right? Yes. All right. So just bombs away, I guess. So right now we still have an extra turn. They also have done a tap, untap on their next turn. So I'd say we got them pretty locked up. But I mean our two part the water veils could be our bottom two cards. That could happen. Like they have to have push. And then the bottom two cards of our deck need to be part the water veil. Uh, there's a Blood Moon in play, so there will be no activating Ink Moth Nexus. Yeah, I don't think Exhaustion stacks, so... Alright, there. so now now we're fine. Now we can't lose. Oh, Snapcaster too? Yeah, the world. Okay. <laughs> and that's the game all right so cool so pretty that's pretty fun uh, a solid three two with the taking turns deck and uh if we get a little hype in chat i'll open up a chest all right what do you guys think all right so let's talk a little bit about the deck list um I think I didn't like Cryptic Command at all. I don't think there was ever a point I wanted to draw that card. And I think that Jace seems medium. I think the card Boomerang would actually be pretty great in this deck. Um, I also was not sold by the White Splash. Um, Stony Silence was very good against Tron. I think playing an all-island mana base is pretty sweet, honestly. Maybe all-island for Nexus. Um, I Get want to open a chest. Sure. John wants to open it a chest. Okay. So um. So yeah. So I think that um. Pinch arm, pinch arm, pinch arm, pinch arm, pinch arm. You know how somebody pinch, doesn't get to open a chest? Pinch arm, pinch arm. They pinch my arm over and pinch over again. Arm, pinch arm, pinch so, arm, pinch arm. So I think boomerang could be cool. Uh, I think the deck wants four exhaustion. Wait. Honestly, wait. Jace, John, I gotta, I gotta talk. Why is that gym day salt? You gotta be patient. All right. So. But. I would like an extra exhaustion. Um, I don't even know if the deck wants Jace. Um, I don't like Cryptic. I'm, I'm not sure, honestly. 
This deck definitely needs to be um needs to be up. Oh, no, John's already John's gone. Okay. So um, the deck definitely needs to be. I told you need to be patient, bud. We will open it. You gotta be patient though. So four exhaustion, some boomerangs. Just looking for things that bridge the gap. Um. Also, why did you turn the light off? Because I didn't. Turn the light on, please. And when you leave the room, don't slam the door, right? That's going to be in everyone's ears. There's 800 people watching. You're slamming a door in all of their ears. Is that rude? Kind of, yeah. All right. So, um, yeah, I, I kind of like Giga Drowse, honestly. Oh. This, this card was pretty good, but um, Cryptic seemed kind of eh. Didn't really like it. All right. So, that's that. That's some hype in chat. Let's open up a chest. And what? No, mommy's allowed. Goodbye. I mean, this is this is the. Uh, is this, 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 this is not the John and Jim show. This is not the John and Jim. Correct. <laughs> and if you, uh, you know, watch out. I'm gonna institute a no Johns allowed policy on the Jim stream. Ooh. Mm. Oh. Mm, yeah. Making chicken parm. So. Making chicken parm. Sweet. All right, chest time. You ready? You want to open it? Mhm. Mm All right. How many are we opening? Click that that button right there. We're opening one chest. This ready? One. Set, go. Da, da, da. A play point. Spike okay. shot, Elder. Spike. I have some spikes. Yeah. I'll shoot them at you. That pew, is right. Pew, pew, that pew. is right. All right. Thank you, bud. Thank you. All right. So, uh, I think two snap is fine, John. Let's go. So I think that uh, I think two snaps is fine. I don't think you want that many snaps. Honestly, snap might even be bad. Might even not want snap at all. Um, so, I'm not sure. I think that this deck is definitely reasonable, but I think that Jace is kind of eh, and Cryptic just seems so bad. I don't know. I'm not sure. There's one league. Obviously, I'm not really sure in total, but that's the deck. Uh, once again, huge thanks to Goober for the donation bonus. Goober's always been a very generous, awesome viewer, uh, gifting subs left and right, playing, making me play cool decks, and I appreciate that very, very much. So, Goober... Thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, I know we have a great viewership right now. We have over 900 viewers. The highest point of the stream. But I have to go. I have an article to write. I have chicken parm to eat. So I'm going to host somebody. I want you all to stay tuned. We're going to host somebody cool. We're going to host someone small. We're going to host someone who has like 5 or 10 viewers right now. All right? And I want you to show them some serious love. Because it makes makes their day every time. Um, they get so, so happy. They just love it. So we're going to host someone. Show some love. Um, oh yeah, Prairie Stream, for God's sakes, Prairie Stream. If we're splashing white, just Prairie Stream, no fountains. Um, cool. So last, uh, so don't forget also to go on to Twitter. Um, make sure you follow, follow, follow me on Twitter. And also important, follow Team BCW on Twitter. This is my team. Me, Brennan, Todd, Tannen, and, and Ross. Give away, give away, give away four Noble Hierarchs. All right? Four Noble Hierarchs. BCW Folio, BCW Deck Locker, BCW Deck Guard Elite Sleeves. Your chance to win. Free. Enter. You got you to gotta follow the team and follow the team on Twitter. So make sure you do that for your chance to win. And then, of course, check out the YouTube channel as well. All right? Um, YouTube's going great. Check it out. YouTube, all that. It's almost 7 o'clock already. Holy crap. I see my fantasy hockey lineup. We're going to host someone cool. Stay tuned. Give show them some love. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. I'll probably be on on Friday, and I'll be gone for two weeks. So check the YouTube for your content. I'll see you then. <laughs> and sure, go follow Dan Jessup, too. <laughs> That's a six-month resub to close the stream. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, if you're watching on YouTube, thanks for watching again. And uh, follow on there as well.